Welcome, Radar Force, to the new year of 2023. We are starting the year off amazingly. We have a rare item, one of the rarest Dragon Ball Media items. And uh, we're four days in of the new year, and we have it. Which leads me to the next point. Um, I have lied to you guys. I have lied to the world of Dragon Ball Collection Media. So I'm not sure when I posted this video, but it was like a year and a half ago maybe a year and a half ago two years ago uh definitely a th early 2022 or late 2021 uh, i claim to have a complete 100 percent u.s media collection and it was a lie it was a deep dirty lie i was missing half of an item and now the truth comes out because that half of an item is now mine uh it's, it's a terrible story it's a heartbreaking story and i when it happened to me, I could not. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna just say I'm I'm 100. percent We're done. You know, I have what I I have what I set out to do. Uh, but d deep down, I knew that I was missing half of this item, an incomplete item. And uh, cat, you need to find out where you're going. I'm trying to tell an emotional story here, and you're ruining the vibe. Okay. Anyway, so I'm missing half of an item. Uh, it came in, and half of it was gone. Um, so anyway, what that item was is this item right here. It's one of the rarest items. Uh, you guys should know about it. Fortune Teller Baba edited VHS. One of the rarest items in all of Dragon Ball media. Um, a lot of people you don't collect Dragon Ball VHSs, but VHSs are way harder than anything Dragon Ball out there that's official. Not, not saying there's other promos. Stuff that wasn't released to the public that's out there. Uh, but official releases that anybody can go buy. This is definitely, these are, the VHSs are definitely way harder than Dragon Boxes and all that other stuff. The Rock the Dragon. That stuff isn't rare. That stuff's easy. You just gotta pay the money for it. Uh, this you can't even look up online and find one. You can, bear, the only pictures you can find are my videos or a stock image on Google. So, there's that. And, uh, so, okay, so, um, I got this, like I said, in 2021, late, mid to late 2021, I'm almost positive. Uh, I got this in a lot with, uh, well, I didn't buy it. One of my fellow collector buddies, he uh, found this lot, which I saw it too, but he purchased it before I could. It was a lot that had a bunch of random Dragon Ball tapes and two gold mines. This one and Yamcha's Fall, which is the second one. The artwork that goes right beside this one. And uh, he got them in. It was from a pawn shop somewhere in the west side of the United States, and uh, when he got him in, he noticed Yamcha's Fall, the tape, that, their agreement was he gets to keep Yamcha's Fall, I get to get five words, I paid him money, I think I paid him like a hundred bucks too, that was a deal, and, and some trades, and anyways, uh, slipcover was here, this is the one I had, but the tape was Great Saiyan Man, Dragon Ball Z Great Saiyan Man Crash Course, uh, and it was heartbreaking he told me that before he sent it out there i was like i, I still want the case and, you know because you know for vhs the main thing you're looking at is the spine art that's the whole point because as you can see behind me they make god i can't do it they make images so that's the that was the main thing you know i was, I was like at least i can get the complete artwork you know that's fine but as a collector standpoint uh you, you just can't you just can't let it go knowing that you know vhs it's the slip cover and the media. Like, I'm missing the media. That's basically the item. It's not like I'm missing, like, a pamphlet. Like, a DVD insert. It's completely a different dynamic. This is the media. This is what... If someone to watch it, you gotta have that. You know what I'm saying? So, that was gone. But I was still satisfied that I had the artwork. That's the main thing, like I said. Well, fast forward to December of uh, last year. Maybe 25 days ago. Uh, one of my pals, my collector pals... Um, which I already knew this, so about maybe 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 eight months ago, maybe a little no, it was over maybe a year and a half ago actually. So yeah, no, I I so yeah, I got this over two years ago then. So there was a lot about a year and a half ago that sold this tape with the second tape, third tape, and fourth tape. It was only missing the fifth tape, Goku's Journey. It was a lot for five hundred dollars. Uh, I it popped up on eBay. I went as soon as I clicked on it, it was already sold. And I was like, God, 
you know, I contact, you know, I talked to the seller. He said, uh, he said it was, uh, he already made a deal with some a specific person. It was a, uh, what's it called? Anyways, he uh, already made a deal with another person, you know, to just post it for 500. They already, they talked behind the scenes, and, you know, just doing through eBay. Anyways, it sold, and fast forward to now, the dude that bought it was like, I'm ready to part ways with the, these tapes. Um, so he's he's selling his one through four of Baba. I got the first one, with, you know, for some money and some trades. And then he sold tapes three and four to one of my other buddies. He still has tape two, which is Yamcha's Fall. If anybody's interested, check that out. Uh, but today, I just got this in the mail, so we're going to open it up. And here's that footage. Let's go. All right, guys. Here we go. We're going to open this bad boy up. And uh, we're finally going to complete the half item that I was missing for my complete collection. Although I've... Claimed that I was complete, like I said earlier, but I technically was missing half of an item. Uh, and now, we're finally going to open up Fortune Teller Baba 5 Warriors edited VHS with the artwork and the tape inside. Last time I just I had the uh, cardboard sleeve and the tape was a great Saiyan Man tape. It was terrible. So... I went ahead and done this justice by opening the box. I, it won't fit on here, so I just got to pull it out. I have not bared witness to the inside. Let's just back this thing away for a minute. So we're just wrapped in this glorious of a thing here. Oh, God. This thing has been crammed in here, which is good. Which is very good. It... Okay. There it is. My man did a good job taping this. So now we gotta freaking try to get this guy on camera. This will uh, be the last thing I need Dragon Ball wise that's not a pre order, which is insane. Which, you know, I claim to have that already. Which I, I pretty much was satisfied with my collection, although just missing the tape was killer. Uh, a piece of a piece of my like soul was just incomplete. So I knew one day that I'd, I'd keep hunting for this, which I never stopped hunting. I I kept finding, I kept searching every day, and uh, here we are, finally getting it. Um, I will explain more right now. I'm full on focused on unboxing this. I'll go into a deep backstory, which is probably going to be, uh, which has probably already been said in this video before you, um, before I got to this point. We will see. I have to say, this, uh, the, the way he wrapped this is my arch nemesis right now. But I can see the glorious, which is five warriors. I was so nervous about doing this trade because it, it, was, it was so expensive, but it was so worth. And, you know, when you're only missing one item, uh, you got to take them chances. So here we are, Fortune Teller Baba, five warriors. You guys have seen it. I own this sleeve. So this is technically my second copy, but this is supposedly complete, which we're going to get to last. This, actually, this is actually a better condition shell than mine. Mine had a hole somewhere in the back, if I'm not mistaken. I will get mine out here soon. And show that, and my god, the Baba edited looks so good. And the top. So let's see. Bum, 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 bum. This is what I paid for right here. Fortune Teller Baba, five warriors. Run time, 60 minutes. That's how you know it's the edited version. The uncut one is like 62. Uh, right here it says 60 minutes. And also, here is an authentic... Title Five Warriors edited. Came out in June of 2002. It is now 20 years old, or 20 and a half years old. This June will mark 21 years old. I am four years older than this tape, which is crazy. But, uh, yeah. Insane. Uh, so let's get mine out and we'll compare. Alright, so here is. 
Uh, this is the new one that we just got in. Here's mine. I got this, I think, in 2021, if I'm not mistaken. If it was, it was late or mid-2021. Um, one of my buddies purchased a lot that had two Baba tapes uh, on eBay. And it had this one and Yamcha's Fall. It was from a pawn shop. and Oh, mine has a tear. That's what it was. It has a tear. Um, it's from a pawn shop, and when dude got it in mail... Um, this tape did not have the original tape inside. What it had was Great Saiyan Man Crash Course. It was the most heartbreaking thing that could have ever happen because you got to remember at this time, this was the last thing I needed for my collection. And to get it in with just a sleeve was devastating because now... I would have never thought in a million years that I'd have to, on my checklist, I'd have to put missing 0.5 or half of an item. Never in my wildest dreams would I ever have thought that. Fast forward to now, and finally, we have a complete copy of Five Warriors edited, and I can finally say with 100% confidence that my collection is 100% complete, and not 99.99999%. So, this will be passed down to my buddy that has collected, uh, that, that got me started collecting. We started collecting Dragon Ball VHS uh, together. Um, and he still needs five words edited. So, I'm going to give him this. I'm still going to look for him a complete one. And uh, he is only missing Tian Shinhan edited now. He has the rest. One of these days, which I know I've already posted videos of me and his collection, but one of the one of these days we're gonna make a whole nother video uh showing his entire collection once he completes it. Still missing TN edited and technically he's missing Five Warriors tape itself. We have the sleeve now. Which, you know, not to complain, but the main thing you're after is the artwork. You know, nobody really wants the tapes themselves except if you want to document the footage, which is very important. But unfortunately, most of mine are sealed, and I can't document all of them without opening them, which would be devastating. But if it comes to that and no one else has documented them, I may have to do that. But anyways, not anytime soon. But yeah. Oh, that's such a relief, man. You can only imagine my pain. I'm going to go into it deeper uh, in the beginning of this video to explain it. But without further ado, let us assemble, which we've already assembled it because I have the same tape, but now the Baba Saga is fully complete now. That is insane. So now, once I give this to my buddy, I'll actually be able to see two complete Baba Sagas with my own eyes, which is absolutely absurd because finding one of these five is literally the hardest thing to do as a collector that collects Dragon Ball. Nothing comes close to how rare these are. Uh, it's just insane. But yeah, that is it. I'm going to go talk about this more. Um, but for now, that is it. Let's put it on the shelf. Sorry for the glare, but that's shrink wrap. Let's go put this back up and complete it. And that is all she wrote, boys and gals.